Hey everybody, it's Matt with remove-malware.com and today we're going to take a look at Sandboxy. Sandboxy is just a, uh, a sandbox program. What is a sandbox program? Uh, it runs uh, programs in an isolated space and prevents them from making permanent changes to other programs and data on your computer. That's right from the Sandboxy website. I think that's an excellent description, easy for anyone to understand. Um, basically, if you download a piece of malware, <clears throat> get like a drive-by download. Uh, you just visit a site and all of a sudden it starts downloading and trying to install things and it does install them without using a sandbox uh, browser. Um, they will what they would install in most cases. Um, but with Sandboxy, they install into the sandbox. Then, once they're in the sandbox, they can't touch your files, your hard drive, basically your file system, your registry, um, any kind of uh, com access. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else. But basically, they're just allowed to sit inside the sandbox and do nothing. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got Sandboxy 3.34 here. And you can see how fast it is to install Sandboxy. Boom, it's done. I mean, that's fast. And when you're going through the end of the install, um, they'll give you a nice little getting started with Sandboxy. I went through that because I didn't know much about Sandboxy. And it's really easy to understand. It's like four steps. And uh, it's, a good, it's a good thing to do, you know, besides watching my awesome review. <laughs> so, anyway, Sandboxy opens up like this. Um, looks a little confusing if you don't know what a sandbox is. But I'm going to go ahead and um, go over a few things here. Um, the biggest one I want to start with is under um, the sandbox. We want to go to default box and sandbox settings. And then there is one option that you really should set, and that's under delete, uh, invocation. Check this first option right here. Automatically delete the contents of the sandbox when sandbox is closed or crashes, um, any, anything like that. So it's very important. That's really the only one that I had to really worry about. Um, Again, I am kind of a, a sandbox novice user here. I just started using it in the past, uh, probably the past two weeks. I've got my mom using it just because she was downloading all kinds of stuff. She just learned how to use the internet and I uh, uh, got kind of tired of taking care of her stuff. So she's using sandboxy and I've got no problems there now. So, um, anyway, go ahead and close this guy. You can see Sandboxy running down here. This icon down here is like a blank little sandbox. Um, when we have items in the sandbox, it'll have all kinds of little red dots in it, like this one right here. So hang on one second. Okay. All right, so if I were you and you're installing this for somebody, somebody in your family or even yourself, um, Maybe not yourself, but somebody in your family, you don't want them to mess around on the internet. Just just get rid of all the um, browser icons, and this, is, this will be their internet from now on right here. And go ahead and get rid of the installer. We don't need that. So that's how they get on the internet. So we go ahead and open up Sandboxed Web Browser, which is basically just Sandboxy. And you can see that the sand the web browser looks totally normal, except that it's got these little pound signs on each end of the text in the in the title bar, and that is a sandboxed um, program, a sandboxed window. Well, program's a better word for it, because this entire program, Internet Explorer, is a sandboxed program right now. Anything we download um, on purpose or accidentally goes into the sandbox. You can retrieve items out of the sandbox if you want to. Um, or you can terminate programs running in the sandbox, which we'll show you. Or you can empty the sandbox, which deletes anything in there. Don't care what it is. It's going. Bye-bye. So 
let me go ahead and give you an example. I've got a drive-by download here. And it installs a rogue anti-malware application. So we're in a sandbox window. This is uh, going to load Powerful Virus Remover 2008, which is a complete rogue. And what a rogue is, it's designed to steal a few bucks from you and, uh, in the end, steal your identity. And they make these things look really convincing because I have more and more of my clients now buying these rogues. Um, and then they call me saying, well, this thing doesn't do exactly what it said. So there's just thousands of rogues out there now, and they're being released almost every day. So if I accidentally uh, download that and I, I try to install it, what it's doing, if we take a look at our sandbox, in our sandbox we have Internet Explorer and then a few sandboxy processes. And it seems to take a little while to load. But now you can see Virus Remover 2008 is in our sandbox. It's isolated from our system. It cannot touch our system at all. It, it can't do anything. I can accept whatever agreements they have and fully install the program. It'll even, it'll even run. Uh, it'll run and do nothing, basically. It just It can't do anything. It can't touch our file system uh, in any way because it's inside the sandbox. So I can go ahead and safely close this window that I accidentally stumbled on. Just hit cancel to that. You know, I realize I messed up now, but now we've got uh, this sandbox with um, this program running in it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this for a second and let the program start. So hang on. All right, well, it's not, it's not even starting in the sandbox, which is fine by me. Um, I kind of want to show you what this uh, rogue has access to. If I go to resource accesses, access, you if you look under file access, direct access, full access, blocked access, and read only, all of these, there's nothing in here it has access to. If I go into registry access, it has access to nothing. There's nothing in this window. So that's the power of sandboxing. And really, um, you, you can run Sandboxy without uh, any antivirus if you're a good power user, you kind of know what you're doing, and you just you want to visit some sites and, and not have to worry about downloading anything. Or you can run Sandboxy and maybe some free antivirus like Avira, or um, you can run uh, Sandboxy with Drive Sentry or Komodo Internet Security, something like that. Really, um, sandboxing is like 99.999% effective in blocking all kinds of malware. So, um, obviously I can see my sandbox has a bunch of junk in there. I'm just going to go ahead and terminate programs. So I just terminated that rogue just with a single click. And I'll go ahead and delete the contents of my sandbox. So the sandbox is already empty once I terminated the program. So I'm going to go ahead and start another video here. We're going to go ahead and load up a few more viruses. Be right back.